Okay, and so we are continuing with part two of how to create a listing on the agent press theme, uh, WordPress theme. So we had just, in the last uh, uh, segment, we had just pasted in uh, these HTML elements. Uh, we had clicked on the HTML tab and pasted in these elements. However, we didn't look at what they were, where they came from. Um, I obviously had them in uh, on the bottom part of my uh, listing just for the sake of ease but basically what those are are tags that we need to put in to make our listing uh, behave as it's supposed to we have to put in this h2 element that's labeled property details and, and then we paste in uh, this short code uh, which is provided here so I got that by simply highlighting this and copying it and then pasting it underneath of the property details tag and from there, property pictures was the second thing that we pasted in. So instead of writing them out, I thought it was easier just to simply paste them in there. So let's go back to visual and take a look. And we have property details and property pictures. Let's go ahead and enter. And we're going to insert our picture gallery for this listing. Okay, and to do that, um, okay. Pardon me. To do that, we're going to go to Media. Okay, let's go ahead and save that first because we don't want to lose any of our work. So we're saving this draft. And then we're going to go over to Media. And remember earlier we uploaded a whole group of pictures. Um, notice that the feature image is now associated with the horse farm listing while the other images are still unattached so what we're going to do is attach those images we're simply going to select them okay all right and once we've selected those images we're going to click attach and we're going to type in the title of the post or just one word of it horse in this case and horse farm for sale in Hardensburg Kentucky is there we're going to select that and now you notice that all of our images are associated with that particular post. Let's go back to our horse farm listing and we're going to click on edit and we're going to insert an image gallery. And to do that we're just going to simply scroll down to the bottom and hit return after property pictures and click on the add an image icon Go to gallery, you'll notice it has six images associated with that because we just happened to associate those a moment ago. And here we need to pay close attention to the order. Uh, we want the primary image, which is this one, to be in position one. So to do that, you can order your images by simply clicking ascending or descending. For our purposes, we'll click descending because it highlights that one is number one. Or you could do custom numbers. You could customize these to where you, this one could be one if you wanted to. But let's go ahead and leave it as that. Just make sure that the featured image is in position one, and then click Save All Changes. Okay, once those have saved, you'll notice that it repositioned everything. Okay, and we're going to simply, uh, okay, here we want to order images by the menu order, which we just specified. And on Gallery Columns, let's select three and insert Gallery. Okay, now let's go ahead and save uh, this draft as it is for now. And we'll pick up in a moment uh, with completing the rest of our listing.